Hey everybody, what's that sound? It's a musical car It's the hit sensation across the nation With an up-and-coming star You see me riding every day I'm never too far It's just a musical car Hey there, welcome to Jeff's Musical Car in Riverview. And this week I'm here with the Northern Pikes. Thanks for coming along, guys. How you doing, Jeff? Good, how are you? Good, good. good. So yeah, lots of lots of good cool news on the uh with the Big Blue Sky, the re-release, uh, 10 unreleased tracks, um and basically celebrating 30 years of music. So tell me a bit about how that's been going. Well, it's been going good. We've got uh, Universal Music just put out Big Blue Sky Super Size, which is essentially uh, the Big Blue Sky original album remastered by Peter J. Moore. Mm -hmm. And included in that package is 10 unreleased, previously unreleased tracks that were recorded roughly in the era that when, Blue Sky, uh, when Big Blue Sky was first released. Right. And in addition, there's a live concert that was recorded in September of 1986 at the Horseshoe Tavern. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're super excited. We're out on this tour here. This is the fourth date here at uh, the Riverview Arts Center. Mm -hmm. We've been playing, the Northern Pike's been playing as a trio the last little while. Yeah. And basically for this tour, we have this man hey. here, <laughs> Mr. Kevin Kane from the Grapes of Wrath as our fourth man for the tour. And it's so cool to have him along. Yeah. He's such an amazing guitar player mm -hmm. and singer. And I'm a huge fan of the Grapes of Wrath ever since their first indie recording, actually. September Bowl of Green, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Yeah, yeah I bought it at Records on Wheels in Saskatoon. And they were playing it in the store, and I thought, oh, I like these guys. I like the, I like the harmonies and sort of the arpeggiated kind of cool guitar stuff going on. And yeah. uh, So anyway, it's basically it feels great to have Kevin yeah. out here. Yeah. And uh, the record is a triple vinyl album. There's... Uh, three, it's colored vinyl. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's, it's blue, red, and white, and uh, or a double CD, or it's available, you know, online on uh, the basic outlets like iTunes and that kind of thing, where you could get it. All right. So, um, out of your grand catalog, what did you decide to do today? Well, we're going to do the title track from Big Blue Sky. All right. This is uh, sort of the uh, this is the campfire version. Of okay. Big Blue Sky. Let's hear it. Jay and Kevin. All right. One, two, three. There's a big blue sky smiling down upon me now. There's a big blue sky. It's got me flying on a cloud. In the big blue sky, there's a reason for my life. In the big blue sky. Now your victories seem to go by you They seem to run right by you Never had a trophy And I never wanted one My brother has somebody Never looks at them Should a recognition Be your ignition Shouldn't need ignition Into the big blue sky Smiling down upon you now There's a big blue sky It's got you flying on a cloud In the big blue sky There's a reason for your lives In the big blue sky There is someone I trust And tell my secrets to I love her more than she can possibly imagine I have a strength inside My conscience is my guide I never have to hide from the big blue sky Smiling down upon me now There's a big blue sky It's got me flying on a cloud In the big blue sky a reason for my life in the big blue sky. You have to walk away sometimes. 
goodbye No, it's hard You have to say goodbye Sometimes and break apart You have to make sure That you never lose the things you love Never lose the things you Is high, no one can look inside. The gate swings open only every now and then. But I am a Christian for all of your answers and all of the dancers dancing the big blue sky, smiling down upon them now. There's a big blue sky, it's got them flying on a cloud in the big. Sky. There's a reason for their lives in the big blue sky. Festival of jangly guitar. Are, aren't you happy uh, stages don't move like a vehicle does when you're on stage? I am. <laughs> Very I am. happy about that. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think you did great. Hey, thanks, man. So, so thanks. when you're traveling across Canada, you've done it so many times, it, it, you must kind of have like a story in each city you go to. Well, I have kind of a general member from a memory myself of, of New Brunswick, of being it's kind of the triangle, you know, like the Moncton, you know, slash Riverview. Yeah. Fredericton. St. John Triangle, it yeah, sort of seems like. And you know, the thing I love about here is it's just very, uh, there's a lot of history and mm -hmm. it's very clean in terms of the buildings. It's just, there's a maritime thing that I just really dig. You know, out west, it seems like whenever they build a new housing development, it's always beige or gray. And there's a lot more, a lot more color going on out here. And you get the red leaves in the fall. And True, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a great time of year to be touring. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And there's also like, you're alluding to a great sense of culture out here that out west, you know, I'm from Kelowna and Jay being from Saskatoon, we, we just don't seem to have the, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's a different kind of history there, for mm -hmm. sure. It's a different history. We're newer out there in yeah. some ways, I yeah. mean, in terms of us uh, being out there. But, you know, I mean, Canada is such a pretty, such a cool country. I mean, that's the, that's the thing I love about being on a tour like this and we haven't done a tour like this like coast to coast in one fell swoop for quite some time mm -hmm. and the fact that you can go literally from one coast to the other and see the whole country and play all these different places and it feels good to know your music has affected people you know yeah I mean, for sure it's, you know it's <laughs> feel it's a good feeling to yeah to have a have a positive effect on people with your music yeah you know? and I have to say the same for the grapes I mean we're so lucky to have Kevin playing here. We we do a couple of grape songs, and believe me, people go absolutely nuts. Oh, really. I can they imagine, fit right in, which is really cool. Well, yeah. yeah, you know, it's it's the same. We were from the same kind of era. You know, there were a lot of bands that kind of put out their their first album on record labels around this same time, within kind of a year or so of each other, and yeah, and it it totally totally works. It's That's totally a perfect cool. fit. It also feels to me that you know because we're. I would say it's fair to say we're both kind of much music bands. You yes. Know, we we yes. both sort of came up during much music, and that was uh, much music to me represented the beginning of uh, things became less regional. Um, so that, you know, a little band from Saskatoon or Kelowna or whatever gets their video on much music, and all of a sudden people in New Brunswick and just all across the country become aware of 
of these little bands in their own little areas doing what they're doing. So, no, it's true. Like, if you got your video on Much Music, like you were king, like that was the, the thing. Now, anyone with a two hundred dollar camera can make a video, but back then, you really needed that like push for Much Music. And but then, you know, we were both lucky to get that push for Much Music. Now, everybody can make a video, but uh, how do you cut through the noise? Yeah, There's exactly. Just so much out there. That is true. Yeah, you know, it's. Uh... Yeah, we, I think we were we were very fortunate. It, you know, like Kevin was saying, it, we were from an era when record labels they spent good amounts of money on these music videos. I mean, there was you know there, a lot of them were shot on film and using True, yeah. sound stages or going to cool locations yeah. and you know that kind of stuff. That really, it's a little tougher for bands now. In some ways, it's it's better for them because they can do it themselves. There's way more you can do yourself and you can build up an audience yourself now. Yeah. You know, whereas back then, it, even though there was an indie music scene, and I mean, the Grapes put out an indie record, the Pikes put out two indie records. I mean, we were from that, you know, that do-it-yourself mentality that we were fortunate enough to, to do that and then, then get uh, a record label to kind of pick it up and put it out and get more people on board with your music. Mm -hmm. and nowadays, it's kind of changed. At the same time, hey, I'm really happy Universal put this out. I mean, it's it's interesting because Virgin got absorbed into EMI, which got absorbed into Universal. So we're on, we're on Universal. And the people there have been really cool. In fact, they were the ones that actually suggested, have you got more material beyond, you know, yeah. beyond the original Big Blue Sky album? And they, we also found these lost tapes from the Horseshoe Tavern and they were like, oh, well, that'd be cool on the record, which was really totally refreshing. It was really kind of yeah. cool to, to, to have people that are really have a, you know, uh, a sense of creativity there. Not that Virgin didn't, because Doug Chappelle was great at Virgin Records in uh, in our first phase of the Northern Pikes. I mean, there was certainly there was a lot of artistic freedom and creative freedom there. But when you look at it, the way things are right now, you know, I just feel really lucky to have a record out and be be able to get out and tour across the country. Oh. I, I never thought I'd be doing that 30 years after the <laughs> no. release of Big Blue Sky, so it feels pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great, and, and the fans definitely appreciate it, and hopefully we can bring your music to a, a new generation of people to appreciate it for years to come, and uh, I hope you um, enjoy the next few decades on the road. Yeah, thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm put, raising the bar a little that's higher. Right. Uh, Optimism yeah, that's, is the key there. I'll yes, indeed. So. Pretty yeah. big talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the Northern Pikes in Riverview, New Brunswick. I'm going to get these guys back to the Riverview Arts Center for the show. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks see for you, the Jeff. ride.